I started skating uh, when I was 16 in high school. Just it was like a for fun thing, and I, I really love it. It's what I do uh, in the mornings before I go to school, and just for fun to help me kind of get away from like all the lab things or school things and just relax and refocus. I'm Allie Crampton. I just graduated from UC Irvine and I'm on my way to grad school in the University of Minnesota. The past two summers I've been hosted by the mitochondria team at the SENS Research Center in Mountain View, California. I don't know exactly what I want to do with my life, but I think that's okay. I really enjoy research. I always tell people I want to be at the bench all day, every day for the rest of my life. And so being in a research center is a really good way to get time at the bench. And it's, it's really fun working on a project that you think is really going to affect people positively. I initially found SENS last year just online. I was looking for other internships and I was really drawn to the types of projects that they're interested in. I was lucky enough that they brought me here to, to learn and to participate in, in their research. This year at the Research Center, there's two male interns and I'm the only female. Last summer though, there were three female interns, so I feel like I'm constantly surrounded by a lot of women, but I didn't expect that when I was starting. Uh, particularly coming from high school and going to college, I was really nervous about being the only woman in a class or being the only one you know, in your group that was going to be female. And I think the advice that I would give to someone else who is at that stage of choosing do I go to science or do I not is if you like it, it will be okay and you will not be alone and you should just go for it and do it because I have so much fun and I'm really glad that I got over that anxiety and nervousness to just go for it and try it. I'm working with the mitochondria team. Mitochondria are what creates energy in your cell, basically, and they can have certain types of damage, and so our idea is to render any damage to the mitochondrial DNA uh, moot. My project specifically is, is working on optimizing the system that we have implemented to accomplish this. As a summer intern, you don't you know, change the world, but uh, you definitely get to make some progress towards the ultimate goal of, of creating this functional system to rescue mitochondria. I like the way that SENS thinks about problems, you know, mitigating the damage before it creates a disease. There's nothing wrong with going and trying to find something out about a basic fundamental mechanism, and in a lot of ways that's what we do as well, but I, always, I feel like I'm driven to work harder and to like push harder when I believe that there's something at the end of the line that would really be patient implemented. And so that's what I like about the SEND stuff is that even if it's only like 10% effective, it would really make a, a huge positive impact. So if you were able to mitigate aging and make it so that people were able to control their bodies well enough to like do intense physical exercise, then you would be able to have a 110 year old skater. Um, right now it's not possible, but that's the goal. That's the ultimate goal is to make it so that people are healthy for a very, very, very long time. If I could continue skating when I was 110, I'd love that.